All right, so I was watching this interview earlier with legendary rapper Big Gip, who did an interview. I think his name is Scotty B A T L or Scotty A T L, one of those. But anyways, he was talking about how he's working on this album with this R and B singer, and how he wants to be that person who ushers in the kind of music that guys can vibe to, but it's oriented, orientated for women. And within that interview, he was explaining how our young guys can't even be real players because they don't even have the right music. They don't even have the right records to set the tone with a woman. And he says, what are all the young is doing now? They can't be no real players. They're trying to make love to drill music. And you know what? That was the motivation for this video because I feel like our kids are totally fucked now. The way society is going and the kind of music that gets pushed to the forefront, the kind of music that goes viral, none of it is playing music. Like, baby making music, people still make baby making music, but you got to even think about the kind of R&B that's out today. It's these guys are either emo, soft, complaining about, you know, how their heart was broke or how they don't fit in in this world. The other R&B guys, they're on some, like, toxic wave. So they're doing R&B versions of what rappers do, which is being a womanizer. And this is not everyone. You know, I'm an R&B listener. I mostly listen to old school R&B because that vibe that made that kind of music special, those kind of R&B artists are either not getting any chances or R&B artists overall have just evolved into something different. And the last one we have who's still young, who has the potential or rather who has the skill to be what is required to make this kind of music and be successful at it is you have to dance. You have to be able to sing ballads and you have to be somewhat of a sex symbol at least, which is Chris Brown. But Chris Brown is in a league all of his own. Chris Brown is just Chris Brown and then there's the rest of R&B. But Chris Brown, due to his past, he doesn't even get the recognition he necessarily deserves from a mainstream wide audience. And these kids are young. They're not all listening to Chris Brown. And I really see that our young boys... I have two sons. My oldest son will be 11 next month. We live in an era where our boys may never know what it feels like to make love to a woman. They're going to have sex, but they're not going to know what it's like to make love to a woman and really connect while also having the perfect soundtrack playing in the background. There aren't we have a whole lot of media in the social media age, but when it comes to relationships and just being a player, when I say player, not player like you running game on a bunch of women, what kind of, not necessarily being a, like a liar and a degenerate is what I mean, but just being a player, being smooth, having a good mouthpiece and knowing how to talk to women. There is, there are no, there's not enough music being made about that. Where there's really like baby making, love making music. Where men are getting on records, crooning and singing about how they want to make love to their woman. And how they love their woman and they would die without their woman. They would die for their woman. You know, that's that borderline or directly simpish music. But it was good for the soul. And it set the tone when you're with a woman. You got to understand like. What are the kids listening to? They're on TikTok. They're listening to now New Jersey mixes. They're listening to Jersey Shore remixes of rap songs. They're listening to drill music. How are our boys going to be smooth and great with women when they're listening to drill music all day? They're listening to King Vaughn, Chief Keef, K Flock, and all these other drill niggas. K-Flock ain't no ladies, man. 
Just because you get girls, that don't mean you're a ladies, man. That don't mean you smooth. You could tell if somebody is smooth with women based off of just the way they talk in general. Can't fly, ain't no ladies, man. Chief Keith ain't no ladies, man. These guys were not smooth. These guys are just guys who they got girls because they were popular. There's no point of reference for these young cats. And I mean all young boys born after the 2000s. Because in the early 2000s when Chris Brown was coming out and Neo was starting to come out and Usher was dropping confessions. I would say between 2005 and 2008, it was pretty much all over for R&B and that smooth player stuff. You know what I mean? There's no more, there's no more Jodeci. There's no more Jodeci's, no more Jagged Edges. You know, that kind of music, the tone that that music sets, the, 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 the speed of the song is too slow. Like, young guys... Ears are not even toned to even like that kind of stuff. You know, like, it's really non-existent. Our kids, our young boys, and our young girls, which is even worse, I, our young girls are not going to know what it's like to go on a date, be alone with a guy who they really like, a guy who really loves them, be kicking it, drinking a little bit, listening to some good R&B music, listening to some Usher, listening to some uh, Mariah Carey or something, listening to some Drew Hill or something. And then, you know, they start kissing and, and it's real like sensual and stuff like that. That player shit, our girls, our daughters are just going to get pounded. Like, it used to be a thing to listen to R&B music, you know, listening to some, some, some Pretty Ricky or something and being able to like, it's like, what music do they have when you doing this? What music do they have when you can do this while you in it though? You stroking it and you whining like this. Like, there's nothing. Our daughters are just getting pounded. And I'm glad I don't have a daughter yet. But that's what's going to happen to you guys' daughters. Where's the point of reference? It's like, it's it's really over. And that's going to contribute to extra kids not being born out of love. I personally feel like it's just over. Because what, what are we going to do? Like, I've taken it upon myself to when I'm with my kids... I watch all the classic movies with them. They getting older now. So being that they don't have the movies like, you know, how to be a player. Those kind of movies are not being made no more. How to be a player and, and the Mac movies like uh, Breaking All the Rules and Two Can Play That Game. These kind of movies are not being made anymore. And we know, we know the white boys ain't making no movies like that because they ain't got no swag. So... It's on us for our young kids. They don't have no... I'm going to be playing those kind of movies for my kids so they can at least get a get a whiff. Get a whiff of that real, like, player shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that smooth fly. They not, like... When, when my son was here last summer and I was playing R&B music real loud, it's not like how it was back in the day where you ain't have a choice but to listen to your parents' music and you grew to love it. I'm playing my music. He coming downstairs talking about dad is too loud. I'm playing uh, Fortnite or I'm on Discord. It's like, little guy, like, what are you talking about? Like, these kids don't have a point of reference. Who's going to be the new Chris Brown? Because Chris Brown is getting older. Eventually, Chris Brown is going to say, the hell with this music. I don't need to do this anymore. Every time I turn around, I got bringing up the Rihanna situation anyway. Who's going to be the next Chris Brown? Like, we don't have any sex symbols. All the R&B guys are just trying to be too tough. You know what I mean? And because we live in an era where women are more masculine, women are breaking more men's hearts, naturally, that kind of music is not going to be made because the men don't appreciate their women or love and honor their women enough to even make the kind of music that I grew up on. Like, what are what are our kids going to do? They're not going to know what it feels like to make love. This is a real problem. This is a real problem. They don't have, like I said, how to be a player. The Mac. Who can play that game? They don't have a, a Jodeci. They don't have a Jagged Edge. 
We don't have, they, they're not going to have a Teddy Pendergrass. You know, they're not going to have a Sade. Even the women, what are all the women talking about? How they want to be players like men. They're talking about how they got side dudes and they want to get back at their men and they're better than their men. And, and if you want, if you want me, you got to spend money. What are our kids going to do? Am I the only person who feels like this is an utter tragedy? What are our boys going to do? Like, I remember I was talking to one of my exes and we were reminiscing about how one time we made love to the whole R. Kelly Black Panties album. Whole album, you know what I'm saying? With songs like Crazy Sex and, and Leg Shaking. All them classic records on that album, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I remember being young, it's like, where they gonna get their swag from? Like, how you gonna have swag and you ain't never listened to a Pretty Ricky album? Like I said, there's nothing where they could do this to. Even in the parties, I remember we used to have the parties back in the day. You would listen to Doodle Brown, and then after Doodle Brown, you would hear, doom, 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 ain't no way I'm gonna let you down, right? Right? All the chicks used to go crazy with Chris Brown. They used to get, get your slow wine on, dancing to the beat and all of that. Hey, these kids, how many of them really, really, you know what I'm saying, gonna be able to really apply that pressure in the bedroom and they not listening to the R&B? So it's either you not listening to nothing or you're gonna have some drill music playing in the background. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what are they going to do?